Good morning, ESN. I'm Luke. And I'm John with your sports. We got a fun show coming up today related to that, but first, news and announcements. Alicia Obey, 35, in Fulton, New York, on Tuesday was sentenced to four years and nine months in prison for processing and planning to sell a synthetic drug across Oswego County. The drug she was planning to sell was a man made stimulant, commonly known as bath salts, also known as Eudalone. It primarily affects the nervous system. Obey pleaded pled guilty to pr possessing and planning to sell it to multiple places in Oswego County. She will serve three years of probation following her release. Longtime retire retired News Channel 9 anchor Rod Wood passed away at the age of 81 on Sunday, December, December 12th, after a short illness he had caught. He turned 81 on December 11th. He had taken an interest in news and radio since he was a child. He retired from News Channel 9 in 2020 after 44 years on the air. Rod will be dearly missed by his family and the entire News Channel 9 crew. Yesterday, the House passed a bill that would punish China for the treatment of their Uyghur population following a bicameral agreement on legislation. The measurement passed by voice vote, which indicates unanimous support for the bill. It will now head to the Senate, which is expecting to send the bill to the White House for President Biden to sign. The House voted 428 to 1 last week on a version of the bill written by Jim McGovern of Massachusetts, and the Senate unanimously passed a related measure in July sponsored by Marco Rubio. McGovern's bill would ban imports produced by ethnic Muslims in internment camps, while Rubio's would crack down on goods manufactured under forced labor conditions in Xinjiang. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The students in Miss Trudeau's class made gingerbread houses and staff and students had the chance to vote. Coming in third place was Brianna Dunn, second place was Ariana Brennan, and first place went to Dylan Huff. Congratulations. Woo. Seniors, want to hear more about what college is really like? Attend the ESM Alumni Connection event on December 23rd during third block in the auditorium to hear from former ESM students. In order to attend, sign up by December 21st with the Google form that was sent to your school email last week. Candy canes will be sold every morning, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. and during lunches, days 2 and 4. Students can write a message to send to the recipient with the candy cane. Buyers must know part of recipient schedule so that Key Club can drop them off. All fashion show models, there will be a mandatory meeting today after school and before. This meeting will cover the fitting schedules and how the event will work. If you cannot go, please see Ariana Finkelstein, Riley King, Julietta Hoffman Tuff, or Mia Comstock to let them know. Or you can email them at newyearnewwishes22 at, e at gmail.com. The food drive competition with Central Square is heating up. We need to get more, more items than Central Square so that Mr. Alina doesn't get a pie in his face. Don't forget, if we get to 2,000 items slash dollars by Friday the 17th, we will shave Mr. Avelino's head. Help if you can, <laughs> food items, cash, or online payment for donations are all appreciated. And Spirit Week is next week, so make sure you wear the following on the following days. Monday is Festive Holiday Hat slash Mask Day. Tuesday is Giving Tuesday, bringing canned food for the food drive, and you can wear PJs. Wednesday is Ugly Sweater Day, and Thursday is Candy Cane Colors Day. Today, we will we'll have a high of 53 and a low of 47 degrees, and today we'll have lots of clouds that will cover most of the sky, and after 1 or 2 p.m., we'll start getting lots of scattered showers. Overnight today, we'll still have lots of clouds and visible in the sky, and we'll have less rain. Thursday, we'll have a high of 64 and a low of 40 degrees, and that's when we are expected to hit a record temperature in December. Thursday, we'll also have some rain showing up in the afternoon and later in the day. Finally. Friday, we'll have a high of 45 and a low of 34 degrees, and we'll be sunny and cloudy with a little breeze. With that, I'm Grayson with your Wednesday morning weather. Guys, we gotta get back at Central Square. Now, I got four ideas, all right? First, Mr. Avellino in an apple suit. 
Sancho Square is going to challenge us to a canned food drive? Do they know who they're messing with? We need to get to the core of this problem. And uh, never mind, that wasn't a good one. All right, let's put someone in a can suit and have them run the halls. Enough with the costumes. All right, this is a great idea. Let's do a Rocky video. I feel like that's been done a thousand times before. All right, dad puns anyone? Come on. Ooh, how about uh, get off your can and bring one in? No dad jokes. Why don't we just steal their cans? How about we try a serious approach? This holiday season, we need your help, ESM. Bring in as many cans as possible to give back to your community, not competitively. One in every eight people are food insecure. 30% are children under the age of 18. We have to feed those in need, and it doesn't take any muscle. Bring in an extra food can or cash donation, which, which goes even further. Thank you. The girls basketball team lost to FM 44 to 19. Angela Polcaro led the team with nine points. Isabel Chavisty and Ariana Finkelstein both had five points. The boys basketball team also lost. They lost to Auburn 59 to 49. Jasmine Kalkin led the team um, with 18 points and Aiden Betts had 13 points. The girls bowling team beat Central Square 3-0. Olivia Nissen led the team with an overall of 413 and Emily Blakeman was close behind with her score of 411. The boys bowling team lost to Central Square 2-1. Ryan Buffum contributed the most with an overall score of 601 points. Steph Curry became the all-time leader in, in three-pointers last night, beating Ray Allen's record of 2,973 and the Golden State Warriors' 105-96 win over the New York Knicks. Steph finished the night with 22 points and five three-pointers made. In upcoming games, the wrestling team has a match at home against JD at 7. And I'm Luke with your sports. And John with your sports. Of course. Thank you very much for tuning into today's show. And for myself, John, and everyone here at the morning show, have a great day.